Well, we're back again. I got Omar with me, and I'm really starting to realize that Libre does a little bit of everything. I mean, we started with machines, then we did automation, then we talked tooling, we did a new release of a, another machine. Now we're talking CMM, and according to my friend Omar, this is a semi-new 2019 idea and concept for Libre. This is true, right? 2019 was the start? That's, that's the start of Liebherr, exactly. So we took it over from a well-known company, the measurement, uh, I would say, department machines from company uh, Wenzel. That's the reason why we have still this W uh, in, the, in the three letters of the machine. Mm -hmm. uh, we took over in 2019. But uh, from 2019 to today, we developed so many new things in this machine that um, now <laughs> we will we, we think about to give the machine now our own identity, a new name, a Liebherr name. So this will happen somewhere this year, maybe later this year. <laughs> well, I hope I get to be a part of that, first of all. For sure, you get And in. then I'm going to make a bad joke if it's okay. Did you ever watch that show, Wheel of Fortune? Wheel um, of Fortune, that show? I'm not sure, well, I, I guess, yeah. Our friend Thomas over here, who helped us out with measuring, he's our Vanna White today. Yeah. He's helping us out with the measuring for the audience as well. So thank you for that, Thomas, we appreciate it. Because <laughs> I know you want to go over some of the details. Yeah. When I think of measuring, Omar, I'm, I'm a pretty standard guy. I come from the machining world. I've yeah. made a ton of parts, but I've never done gears myself. Yeah. So a question I have for you, and we'll get into the specifics. For you gearheads out there, I know you know this answer already, but before we get into the gearheads, what's the difference between a gear dedicated CMM machine yep. and more of the standard machines that I'm used to that I've seen out there regularly? Yeah, maybe the regular machine, which you know are coordinate measuring machines, so-called CMMs. This is for sure also a CMM, but with a special feature with a rotating table. And with this rotating table, we can measure this teeth, especially by generating, you know, the probe and, and, the, uh, and the workpiece together. So this makes it much faster. You need only one position inside the, yeah, inside the gap, I would say, with the probe. And then you generate it by rotating the table to measure, I would say, to measure the teeth. And this is a much faster and more precise way than a CMM machine, which you know ever can do. <laughs> that makes sense. And yeah. time is money. We all know that. We all exactly. say that yeah. it's worth the investment. What else would you say is unique about this Lieb here CMM machine? I already see it making really quick movements, actually. Yeah, exactly. And I see a bunch of different tool changes on here as well. What are some of the other unique attributes that the audience should know about when considering this product range? What, uh, what you see here is an automatic sequence, which we have programmed, especially for, for this gear. So we have, at first, we have uh, a temperature sensor to take the temperature of the workpiece. And if there's a difference from the workpiece of the uh, temperature of the workpiece to the machine temperature, we can compensate that. That's the first. Then we have to do the alignment. So we, find, we have to find the real middle axis of the workpiece. Therefore, we are using this L-shaped probe, I would say. It looks like an L <laughs> for taking the reference. And after finding the correct workpiece middle axis, we are starting directly to measure the teeth, you know, the flank and the profile. Um, the number of teeth which we want to measure can be adjusted here in the control quite easily. In this case, we are measuring four teeth, I guess. So this is... Um, and we get later on a protocol where we can see the measuring result. Then after we have measured the teeth in the probe changer, we have a special uh, sensor on the bottom, which you can see here, this one on the bottom. This is a surface roughness sensor. We will change automatically later on to this surface roughness sensor and measure the you know, the surface roughness as well. This is a special optional feature on the machine. This is also a special, I would say, specialty of Liebherr, no, of the Liebherr measuring machines. I've always known, for me, yep. gears and gear making to be artwork. But I'm starting to find out, Omar, mm -hmm. that measuring them is just as complex and incredibly important. Yep. I mean, this precise calculation 
we can't measure something or we can't cut something we can't measure. Excellent. So having technology like this allows us to save so much time. Yes. I bring that up because I have been on some of your machines where the gears are about the size of this room. Mm -hmm. Probably not practical to put on one of these, right? That's true. You're talking about the very big I am big, talking yes. about the big ones. Yeah. But as a general rule, I see a 280 here. I see a 600 here. Yeah. Just in the other room, there's a larger size. Yeah. So there's lots of options for customers out there as well. Even though exactly. 2019 seems fairly new, yeah. there is a legacy behind all of this. The, the dedication and the innovation, the, in, uh, the, the invention of this has, has far more history than that, right? That's and it right. allows you to have the time to develop all of these different sizes and make sure that the people out there who consider a leave here, CMM yeah. are taken care of. Yeah, that, that's true. So for sure, we have a big range of different type of machines, starting with the smallest 280. This is that one, uh -huh. yeah, over there. Then uh, for sure, going ahead with a 400 machine, a 600, which we can see here, 850. And the biggest one is a 1200 machine, which can be extended to 1500 millimeters. So this is uh, the range is from zero, I would say almost zero to 1,500 millimeters, That's which incredible. we can measure on the machine now. Well, I could barely lift this one up, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that other one. That's too big for me. For sure, you need a crane, a haul crane, <laughs> or something to lift up. That's true, yeah. Um, before I close out this conversation, is there anything else about this Leave Here CMM machine that you think the audience yeah. should know as it's going through its process? Yeah. About the machine bed, I want to talk a little that's bit. Important. You know, that's important. Uh, that's a genuine, genuine stone, a real natural stone, granite stone. Um, this coming from South Africa will be shipped, you know, to Germany, will be prepared in, you know, in an extremely well uh, quality, means extremely high quality means, you know, on three microns, you know, flatness is three microns only. So this is extremely high quality. Then we have the linear axis, which you see moving up and down, forward and backward. We are using air bearings. Air bearings, so means we have no contact with this granite stone. So the axes are, I would say, floating on the, on the granite in this direction, in that direction, up and down, forward, backward. Even the table here, is lifted up by air, so this is a real air bearing. On that's you know the reason that we have no influence coming from the axis into the measurement. So we are concentrating only on the teeth. We we have a real measurement without any influence coming from machine axis or whatever for mechanical issues. So this is a specialty having a high precise granite stone, which is thermal, extremely stable. And from, from, uh, from the stone, also extremely stable. We have no vibrations or something. Even this column, this column and this column behind the cover is made of granite stone. We, have, we are using air bearings everywhere on all axes. That's the reason why we can measure in the highest quality class. I can sum all that up in one word, yeah. quality. That's really- Live here does quality. quality. Yeah. That's absolutely for sure. I'm realizing as I go through the tour, you know, I've spent time with, there's about 75 Thomases in this building, I think, but I've spent time with Thomases. I spent time with Peter. I've spent time with so many of your friends and every conversation I have, is about supporting the customer yep. from beginning to end, taking care of them and making sure that quality is the number one thought. Yes. Uh, this with you, quality, the last conversation, qual quality is everything you guys think about. That's absolutely. so important for everyone to understand. Yeah, uh, we, are, we are talking only about microns. This is microns. our quality level, yeah, 1,000 of a millimeter or micron. And nothing else than that is our yeah. quality level. Omar, you are amazing. I'm going to close this out just by saying, and yeah. I'm gonna, I know the answer is no, this is rhetorical, but would you believe that there was a time in my life where I used to machine granite? For kitchen I'm countertops. <laughs> I worked in the kitchen countertop world okay, and yes, I used right. to use a CNC machine Even. to machine granite, but not to three microns. <laughs> Nobody's kitchen cared about three microns, but I know how important it is here. Yeah. 
Here it is extremely important, yes. And the air bearings, that's a win. Otherwise, the air bearings would not work. Yes. Exactly that. <laughs> Omar, thank you so much. That Welcome. was a really great tutorial of how this works, why it's important to understand. Yes. If you're in the gear making world, it just makes sense to work with a company that takes you from beginning to end. We've talked tooling, we've talked machines. Now we're talking CMM. This is what Liebherr does for you. Give my buddy Omar a car call. It's obvious to me yes. he loves this technology, <laughs> don't you, buddy? Yes, I do. Yeah, I can tell. I can <laughs> so, tell. Thank you all for watching. Any questions, leave it in the comments. We will get back to you, we promise. Thank you.